Welcome to Walks with Moss. It is a wet day in March. The temperature is hovering just above the freezing level. But no matter, Bella and I are going to explore a logging road that we have not been up today. And when we get to the top, I'll pitch my tarp and cook some lunch. So, welcome to our adventure for the day. It should be about four miles round trip. So we're just a little ways down the road and getting my first look at the route here. We're going to be going up that hill or maybe one behind it that we can't see yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to the right or to the left, but I'll figure that out when I get there. So the plan is to go up that hill right there and it is chilly. My fingers are cold already. Time to put some gloves on. The site's going to be a little bit more exposed than I was expecting. So this means we need to layer up a bit. There. That should help. This is a bit of a climb. And some nice views are opening up. Headed up there. I see a lake down there. That will be definitely something for us to explore another day. Should get there by following that road just there. Cool. Looking forward to exploring that lake shore. A truck just went by. I saw it coming, so I ducked into the woods. I always duck into the woods when I hear a car, if I'm alone on one of these roads. Better safe than sorry. And I don't come out here to socialize. I come out here to be alone. But while I was ducking back into the woods to avoid the truck, and the person in the truck never saw me as far as I know, I found this trail, which I believe goes to the top of the peak we want to go to. So we'll take this trail now. We have transitioned out of that clear cut and we're in the woods again. It's looking like the top of this hill is going to be wooded. There were some nice views back behind me, which I can enjoy on the way down. But for lunch, it's kind of better to be sheltered under the trees because it's pretty windy today and the wind would have my tarp flapping a lot. Here comes Bella. Hey buddy, having a good time? Of course you are. Here we are at the top of the hill. It's lunchtime. I found some kind of nice woods down there. There might even be a view. So I'll probably go down there and set up my tarp. This is a bit open and exposed and not particularly pretty. So I'm just going to search around here for a little bit for the perfect place to set up my tarp for lunch. Okay, I think I found a good place to set up my tarp. I'm going to set it up over that stump that Bella is just in front of. The idea is that I can stand on that, no, sit on that stump and string the tarp up between all these trees. So we'll see how that works. I'll do a time lapse of me setting it up. Bella's excited because she knows it's just about lunchtime. Okay, my tarp is set up, 
So now to sit on this stump and cook some lunch. First starter of business will be to make a hot drink and then get my lunch soaking while I'm getting my water for my drink heated. I scraped the ground down to bare mineral earth here. And I got my little pop can stove. And denatured alcohol. And we'll get that going here. And soon I'll have water for tea. I've got my water heating up for tea. While I'm waiting for that, I'll start getting my lunch ready. My lunch is going to be uh, mixed vegetables with cilantro, onion, carrot, and some dried tomatoes, and dried morel, wild morel mushroom, and some smoked dehydrated trout. And that's all going to be in a base that I made, which is basically like tomato leather, except for I made it with uh, cilantro, not cilantro, well yeah, there's cilantro, cilantro, onions, and tomatillos. It's a green sauce, which ends up tasting really nice. And now I've got some moss and pine needles in it, but that's okay. So, we'll start pre-soaking that a little bit. Really, for day hiking, I don't need all this dehydrated food. I just could bring fresh food. But I started doing dehydrated food for backpacking. But there's not much backpacking happening right now with so much snow. Bella is enjoying a bit of ramen. I use the noodles from a ramen packet for my lunch, but I generally only use half the noodles. And I don't use the seasoning at all. I make my own seasoning. Bella is chowing down on the other half of the ramen noodles. She just had a big serving of dog food as well. Got my water boiling and I'm steeping my tea right here. And now it's time to put my lunch mix into the pot. Oh wow, that's going to be a big lunch. Okay, and uh, some of my sauce went on the ground. That's okay. So it's already got a fair amount of water in it, but I'm going to add some more. And then I will have to add some more fuel. But for now, I'll let this sit here and simmer. And I can enjoy a hot cup of jasmine tea. Put it in my little cozy right here. It is chilly. There. Now I can drink my tea while waiting for my lunch to get done. It's cooking a little bit slower than I'd like though. It's kind of cold here. Bella is staying warm by running around. some water off my tarp so I can make another hot drink. And then as soon as these noodles are done, Bella and I are going to enjoy a hot lunch. Mm. It's chilly one up here today in this wind. My noodles are done and not a minute too soon. It is chilly up here. And while I eat my noodles, I'm going to warm up a little bit more water for tea. How are they going to taste? He's cooked kind of slow today, and I think I maybe added too much water. Just let Bella have the first bite. Here you go, Bella. Here you go. Okay, let's give it a try. Normally, I would make chopsticks for my noodles, but I don't feel like going out from under my tarp. Okay, here we go. Yep, excellent. A little more salt 
might make it better. And a little bit of hot sauce too. Pretty much everything's better with some hot sauce on it. So add a little hot sauce. I'm done eating this, I'm going to take down the tarp and get the heck out of here because it is cold. Let's see how it is now with the hot sauce. That's better. The fog is moving in and the view is kind of gone. I'm glad we got out here and got some exercise today, but I wish I'd dressed just a little bit warmer. I need to buy some new clothes. I need another upper insulating layer, one that will be okay in the rain. Okay, all packed up, left the place better than we found it, time to get out of here. What a nice view up here. This is my first time in this spot and I definitely want to come back here on a nice day when I can just sit here and have my lunch enjoy the view. There's that little lake again. I'm gonna make that my next hike. Hopefully I can get somewhere near the shoreline. This turned out to be a great adventure, considering this wasn't where we planned on going at all. But we found a nice viewpoint and a fun little hill to climb. Bella is having a blast. I don't think she's ready to end our hike. And I think we found a plate. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Not a bad plate. A little chip there. Interesting, the things you find out here. Bella's still sniffing around, she could do this all day. Almost back to the car. And it's starting to rain again. It had stopped for a little while. Good time to go home, I think. There's a pile of wood somebody cut up and chopped up and then never bothered collecting. It's been here so long it's even got mushrooms growing on it. All done and back to the car. And it's raining again. It can be hard to get motivated to get out in this kind of weather, but I'm hoping that making these videos will help me with my motivation. This is definitely hypothermia weather here today. About maybe 36 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just a little bit above freezing, and rain. Prime hypothermia weather. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like it. Maybe hit the subscribe button. We'll see. And I'll see you next time.